Hello, I'm Chuck Long, and on this edition of the Entertainment Outlook, it's Oscar time, and it's looking to be one of the tightest races in years. Here for our annual Oscar preview is Nashville-based journalist Holly Gleason. Holly has written for many top publications, including Rolling Stone, Billboard, Playboy, The New York Times, The LA Times, as well as releasing the book, recently releasing the book, Women Walk the Line, How the Women in Country Music Changed Our Lives. So welcome, Holly. Hi, Chuck. It's so great to see you. It's so fun to be here. I'd love to catch up and talk, and we've got movies to talk about. Movies. Oh. Today movies. Maybe yeah. another day of the book. Yeah, exactly. We'd yeah. love to do that. So I even saw you at one of the screenings recently, Call Me By Your Name. Ugh, oh, what did you devastating. Think? Yeah. I mean, not only was it true and real, but was it beautiful? It was just, that's what I said, it was stunning, it was just beautiful. I think that's probably my favorite movie of the year. And I love the pacing of it too. They just, it took its time and you felt the, the yeah. splendor of Italy and oh my gosh. And the way relationships, when you don't know what you're doing, blossom. The reality of what they did and all that beauty was crazy. Yeah, it really was. I just, and again, I just, I love the pacing. They, they let it take its time. Okay, so 90th Academy Awards are coming up. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna go through some of the top list. Absolutely. And we're going to pick who we think will win. Not who our personal favorites are, but who we think will win. And right. we may say who our personal favorites are too. We'll, we'll kind of play that by ear. All right, so let's start with Best Picture. Nine nominees this year. There they are on screen. Call Me By Your Name, Darkest Hour, Dunkirk, Get Out, Lady Bird, Phantom Thread, The Post, The Shape of Water, Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri. Okay, Holly Gleason, extraordinary journalist. Who is your pick for Best Picture this year that you think will win? I think everyone thinks it's going to be three billboards mm -hmm. i'm going with the shape of water okay how come what i think that at a time when we're trying to find our humanity the fable or the aspect of it that that takes fantasy and holds up our reality i think that's going to appeal to the voters okay i'm going to agree with you i think shape of water is going to win as well oh. okay so but i will say that i think three billboards is probably going to be its biggest competition possibly dunkirk i watched dunkirk and my only Amazing. problem with dunkirk was it was so intense that I felt so much anxiety watching right. it. But I mean, I think that's what you're supposed to do. I that's mean, what they war is for. intense. It yeah. was, they were grinding it down. But technically an incredible movie. That's a brilliant movie. All right, so we're gonna go to Best Actress right now. So again, another tight race. Nominees, you see them on your screen, play along with us. Sally Hawkins for The Shape of Water, Frances McDormand, Three Billboards, Margot Robbie for I, Tanya, Saoirse Ronan for Lady Bird, and Meryl Streep for The Post. Now, one thing we do want to mention, Meryl Streep just broke her own record. She was nominated, the most nominated actress ever at 20, so she just broke that 21 nominations. Wow. I mean, yeah. Okay, and, and I think three wins. Okay, so who's your pick for who you think will win Best Actress this year? Frances McDormand. She is so incredible in the movie, so intense, so righteous. Kind of hard to go against that. I, I, I completely agree. We're going to see. I mean, I, this is who I think is going to win, <laughs> too. So this will be one of those. I'm just going to follow your lead. But seriously, yeah, um, to me, that character and all the characters in that movie, they twisted, there were turns. Um, you really never knew where someone was going. But to me, there was a lot of redemption in it as well. Absolutely. Well, I think that's one of the things that makes it pay off. Yeah, I, I completely agree. All right, so now we're going to the category of Best Actor. Check your screen. Here are the nominees. Uh, Timothy Chalamet, Call Me By Your Name. Daniel Day-Lewis for The Phantom Thread. Daniel Kaluuya for Get Out. Uh, Gary Oldman for The Darkest Hour. And Denzel Washington for Roman J. Israel Esquire. All right, Holly, who is your pick here? I've got to say Gary Oldman. Okay. I think that even though it seems like a dark horse candidate, I mean, Churchill, right? he so embodied it. And it was such a dark time, and it was transparent. You stopped seeing him, and all you saw was that terrifying moment. Right. I, I, again, I'm going to agree with you here. We're three for three. We're three Seriously, for three. Yeah, so we'll see in the supporting categories. But I mean, and not only is the makeup transformative, but it's just the way he embodies that he character. I've never seen it. it played that way, but it's still Churchill. So Churchill. Yeah. Okay, so we're going both. Now we're three for three. Same picks here. We'll see if this changes as we go on to supporting actor. Willem Dafoe for The Florida Project. Woody Harrelson for Three Billboards. Richard Jenkins for Shape of Water. Christopher Plummer for All the Money in the World. And Sam Rockwell for Three Billboards. Two from that movie. Okay, Holly, who are you going with? Um, 
I think Woody and Sam are going to cancel each other out. Okay. So even if they weren't canceling themselves out, William Defoe and the Florida Project. Okay. Was heartbreaking. Yeah. Now I can't say that I've seen that. So. Oh, it's it's a really tough movie, and when you when you watch it, you're kind of like, how can it be like that? Right. And growing up in Florida, I, I saw a lot of that. And he is this really jaded guy, and he sees those little girls, and they have hope. And the way you see how, you know, to, to paraphrase Langston Hughes, the way flowers grow through the sidewalks. Yeah. He's incredible. Okay. All right. That's the only one we disagree on. I'm going to go with Sam Rockwell from Three Billboards. Holly, we are out of time. It goes fast. So we're all together on most of them. We've got one difference. When the Oscars are over, I'll call you and we'll see how we did. Okay. All right. Thanks as always. Great seeing you. Good to see you too, Come sweetheart. back anytime. Thank you. All right. That's all the time we have for this edition. Be sure and catch the 90th Academy Awards Sunday, March 4th. All right. We'll see you next time. Good night.